<laughs> How do spiders make their web? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. Hmm. What is cholesterol huh? in the human body? No idea. But Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum. <laughs> cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle as well as crust. Hmm. Why do we have chins? No idea. But, but, where is my chin? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones, and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. How does a jellyfish sting? No big deal. Even Am Sum can sting. Oh, Am Sum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. How can huh? parrots talk? Are you kidding me? Parrots can't talk. Huh? Oh, um, some. According to a research, parrots' brains have an additional structure called shells, or outer rings which surround those areas which control vocal learning. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hmm. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start mimicking us to become a part of our flock. Hmm. What happens to old satellites? Simple. They become Umsum's toys. Huh? Oh, Umsum. There are a couple of options. It all depends upon how high the satellite is. For the satellites which are closer to Earth, scientists may use the last bit of remaining fuel to slow the satellite down. This way the satellite will fall out of orbit and burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. For the satellites which are much higher, it will take a lot of fuel to slow them down enough to fall back into the Earth's atmosphere. Hence, for these satellites, it takes a lot less fuel to simply blast them further into space to die. 
Hmm. Why is birds poop white in color? Simple. Because they keep on eating the clouds. Huh? Oh, um, some. Firstly, it is not the poop that is white. The green or brown part present in the center of the white portion is the actual poop of birds. The kidneys of birds don't produce huh? urine. Instead, <laughs> they excrete the nitrogenous waste as uric acid. This acid is the white portion. Now birds have only one exit point called cloaca. The poop from intestines, that is the green part, and the uric acid from kidneys are excreted at the same time. Hence, bird poop appears white. Are smartphones bad for our eyes? Don't worry. Just watch Omsum on your smartphones. Oh, Omsum. We hold smartphones too close to our eyes and also stare at them for prolonged periods. Hence, it puts strain on our eyes. Besides this, smartphone screens predominantly emit blue light. Now, our eyes are built to absorb the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun, thus protecting the inner sensitive membrane called retina. Hmm. But our eyes are not good at absorbing blue light emitted by smartphones. Huh? Hence, the blue light hits the retina and produces toxic substances which slowly begin to damage the retina. Hence, long-term exposure to blue light from smartphones may affect our vision. Hmm. What are huh? boogers? I know, I know, they are my friends. Oh, um, some. In order to understand boogers, we need to first learn about mucus. Mucus is huh? the slimy, sticky substance which is produced by tissues in our nose, mouth, sinuses, throat, as well as our digestive tract. Hmm. Mucus helps catch harmful viruses, dirt, germs, and pollen, and thus protects our lungs. Hmm. Tiny hairs inside our nose called cilia move the mucus along with the trapped stuff towards the front of our nose. Now when we sneeze or blow our nose, the mucus comes out. If some mucus along with the debris remains in the nose, then it starts to dry out and clumps together and finally becomes a booger. Hmm. Why is ketchup so hard to pour? Simple. Because nobody is as strong as Om um Sum. Oh, Om um Sum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. 